This is Nate Carl at the 2003 World Congress and Expo on Disabilities. I'm here with Keith Markusik from the WalkRide Corporation, who's here to demonstrate the EasyGate brace. Keith, what is the EasyGate brace? Um, the EasyGate brace is a new invention for foot drop. Now, over the last 25 years, there have not been very many changes in the foot drop industry for braces. This brace right here has the potential to change people's lives. What we have done is take this, the brace and attach it externally onto the heel of the shoe. One of the wonderful features that this immediately presents is that when a person buys a pair of tennis shoes now, they get to enjoy the nice soft cushion of that tennis shoe. They are no longer walking on a hard piece of plastic. The elastic straps that attach to the top of the brace serve a number of purposes. The first thing they do is bring the toe up past the neutral position. This allows the individual to place the heel of their foot down on the ground first, walking in a normal gait. First the heel, then the ball of the foot. The elastic straps also serve to decelerate the foot so it doesn't slap the ground when they're walking. Um, the brace itself will enable a person to increase the level of their physical activity to the level that they really are, want to go and also the, to the level that their body will allow them to. Since wearing this brace about three years ago, I started wearing it, I've actually been able to return to play in some sports like basketball with my son, golfing, or even just walking through the amusement park for 10 hours with my children. I can now do that, and I'm not fatigued by the end of the day. Now, I understand some braces that are used for foot drop actually throw you off balance or make it difficult on an incline. How does the EasyGate brace solve that, and what are some of the benefits? Of Plus, I think you started to highlight the fact that with the EasyGate brace on the outside, there is uh, you avoid the problem of ulceration. Is that the case? Yes, that's correct. Um, there are certain illnesses um, such as uh, diabetes. Uh, diabetes can cause a neuropathy to the foot and uh, they lose uh, s the feeling. Uh, one of the uh, terrible downsides of that is that if they get an ulcer, a little irritation on the ball of their foot, that small ulcer can grow and grow. Many times uh, individuals have lost their toes, had to have part of the foot amputated. Well, because there's nothing on the inside of the shoe except the natural um, inner sole of the shoe, there is nothing then to irritate the shoe. Uh, our motto is to will change your life without changing your shoe. So as long as your shoe fits you, even if it's a diabetic shoe, all we do is add the brace externally so it doesn't interfere with the inner workings of the uh, person's shoe. Uh, you mentioned about going up an incline. When you have foot drop, going up a hill is difficult. You just can't lift your foot up to make the next step. Well, as I mentioned before, because the brace lifts the toe up past neutral, when you go up an incline, you actually have a normal gait. You're able to walk onto the ball of your foot going up an incline rather than having to bring the whole foot up in a kind of a flat foot manner. Now, is this a uh, solution that's one size fits all? Uh, can it accommodate children or adults? Um, the, shoe, the brace itself can be adapted to any tie shoe or Velcro shoe, as long as it's a good sturdy shoe, a good tennis shoe or a, um, a leather dress shoe. We have children in them that are 8 years old, up to adults 92 years old, a, an older woman in Indiana that has a, a, an illness. The... Um, brace can be adapted to any shoe and um, all, any other shoe that they have all we do is sew the heel adapter on they just unscrew this one screw here and the brace is interchangeable then with all those different shoes they don't need to buy uh, four braces for four pairs of shoe they just need one and uh, can make it adaptable to it now, does a, someone who's interested in the EasyGate brace, need they visit uh, a factory or provide you with a particular shoe size uh, or perhaps a, a measurement of their leg or foot? In order to um, 
get the easy gate brace. There are just two simple measurements that an individual needs to make. They first need to measure a, the circumference of their calf in the largest area. Okay. That measurement, along with the measurement from the top part of the heel of the shoe to the middle of their calf, with those two measurements, they send us the shoe and the order form, and within approximately seven to ten working days, we will have the brace back to them, ready to go, ready to put on their foot. Um, I usually ask the individuals then to give me a call on the phone, and I talk them through it if they have any questions. We, re we, I have a passion for people with foot drop because I've had it for 25 years, and um, my goal is to is to make this brace work for each individual. So whatever tweaking needs to do, whatever uh, encouragement needs to be done, anything that we can do for the individual, we will do it. I wonder if you could demonstrate how the easy gait brace helps you in terms of moving and walking. In, in just in the normal gait, the balance is significantly improved because you get to, you, you have the movement of your arms right along with you. There's not too many people that have foot drop that are able to also walk backwards. So walking backwards, it just demonstrates how the, the increase in balance with this brace. Just simply going around in a circle like this without stumbling, without falling. The brace really is one more. Let me uh, show you one more time. Now, I can't guarantee you that you'll get an NBA contract, but you should be able to dribble the ball and move around a little bit on the basketball court and enjoy it. But that's the extreme. So I'm able to play basketball. You may not be able to do that much, but you may be able to just spend four or five hours walking without any kind of fatigue or without any kind of pain on your foot. How does the medical community view the brace, and is it prescribed? How can uh, Would I need a prescription to get one? The recommended way for the brace to work is this. If the physician will write an order for the easy gait brace, foot drop brace, most um, insurance companies and uh, agencies will allow that individual to go out of network because we're the only ones that have it. We have the exclusive patent on this brace. It's not available to anyone else. Because of that, then they will normally allow them to go out of network and uh, they will reimburse them according to uh, what their policy is. So the, sh the EasyGate race would be shipped to my home. I need not uh, go to my doctor to pick it up. That's right. Now, we do have physicians that um, will call us and say I have a patient with a foot drop and um, he'll deal with that patient. That's okay. We have physical therapists that will have patients, and they will help them in ordering it. But most of the time, we get a phone call from the end user. You know, we're, we're in a world today where the people in America are taking charge of their health care. They want what's the best thing for them. And because of that, they'll call us on the phone and say, I've got foot drop. What do I need to do to get your brace? And uh, so we talk them right through it on, on the phone then. I'm impressed by the level of customer service, certainly in helping uh, people not only obtain the brace and also uh, I know you had mentioned that doctors and physicians themselves do utilize this for their own personal uh, needs. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Um, there's a physician up in Boston, Massachusetts that was a jogger. He had a stroke, wasn't able to jog any longer. He began to wear the easy uh, gait brace and now has returned to jogging and bicycling. Uh, I have another uh, physician that's down in uh, Palm Beach. Uh, he loves to play golf. Uh, all his golf shoes have the Easy Gate brace on them. I received a phone call uh, about a few weeks ago from a young woman out in California who um, was an avid tennis player, playing in ten uh, tournaments constantly, fell down the steps and ended up with foot drop, had to give, give up the sport for four years. We put her in the brace. She got the brace on a Tuesday. On Thursday, she called me and said, I just got done playing tennis for four hours. So um, 
the, the testimonies are out there. People are using the brace, and it is changing their lives. This is Nate Carl with uh, certainly Keith McCusick. We've had a presentation of the Easy Gate brace and certainly demonstrate how it can change your life without changing your shoes. That's very impressive. Again, from the 2003 World Congress and Expo on Disabilities, this is Nate Carl.